Okay, so here we have a brand new Nook tablet that I have loaded with some third-party apps, a different Android launcher to show you what you can do with this brand new tablet. So this is the sort of stock Nook tablet home screen. Um, you see if I press the end button, go to search, I've installed two different launchers. Go to Go Launcher. This is a more classic Android launch screen. You can see I've got three, three home screens, some widgets, some shortcuts, an app drawer. Um, it moves pretty, pretty smoothly. You see if I go into my Dolphin browser, I have tabbed browsing as well as sort of a classic Android browser feel. I've got a back button here, I've got a menu button here. Um, so Dolphin browser is pretty nice to have on the tablet. Now the tricky thing is, is getting back from this to the home screen. If you press the end button, it's going to take you to the Nook shortcut menu. Um, the only option really I have is to go back to the standard Nook home screen. Um, if I want to get back into my launcher, I've got to go to search and go to Go Launcher. That's sort of frustrating, but until they root this device and install custom ROMs onto it, there's really not a way around that. If I go back into my app drawer, you see I have both the Amazon Kindle app and the Amazon App Store, so I can actually load different Android apps using the Amazon App Store, which is pretty cool. Um, as long as you have an account, you can download stuff either for free or for cost. My notification menu is here. I have access to Gmail. Um, so if I go back, and then you'll see I have a Gmail app in here, which is the dedicated Google Gmail account. Um, nothing special about that. If I go to Google+, Plus, I have Google+. Plus. Most of the Google apps run pretty well. Maps, actually, is really smooth and nice. Um, location aiding is going to be challenging because there's not really a GPS in this device. Um, and right now, I don't know if they have access to tell the Maps program where you are or not. But just to be able to use Maps on here is pretty nice. Uh, you can see how smooth everything is. I can load satellite imagery. It's pretty good. Anyway, we'll go back. Um, I have downloaded enhanced email, so I have my corporate exchange account on here, which is pretty nice. That runs pretty well. Uh, Google Latitude, ES File Explorer to navigate through the file system is great. You can look through that. Here is a, a high definition MP4, which if I play this using the standard movies app, you can see actually runs pretty well. No stutter. Good sound. Great quality on the screen. Takes me back to my file browser. Let's see what else we have on here. Uh, Netflix, but that came standard with the Nook. Um, Google Voice works really well for accessing your inbox with um, voicemail and SMS. YouTube app for accessing YouTube content. So all in all, if you can deal with the little bit of annoyances um, of not having a dedicated launcher and having to go to the home search launcher button to get back to your launcher, um, you can run the most, the majority of Android apps on this thing. Um, here's another example. This is a Facebook app, right? So I can go to my Facebook news feed. Anyway, it's pretty good, but it's not great. So you have to decide if it's worth 250 bucks or not.